What's up guys, Shane Starnes here with Droid Modder X. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Acton Rocket Skates. Normally I start out these videos with an unboxing of sorts. There's not really a whole lot going on with this unboxing experience. Basically you had this huge box and inside the box you have a charger for each skate you have the instruction manual, which also gives you some information about the warranty on the product. And then of course you have both of the rocket skates in the box. So moving forward, we'll talk real quickly about the design and the build quality. Sprout up some of the R8 version of the rocket skates, which go about 10 miles per hour, and you can use them for about 60 minutes or a full hour. The build quality on these skates are top notch. They have cast iron wheels, which are incredibly durable. Those cast iron wheels are wrapped in rubber tires. So you have these nice shock absorption springs on the back with an anti-tip wheel, which really does come in handy, especially when you're first getting used to the skates. Inside the skates, you have a nice thick foam Foam pad for your ankle support and everything is made of hard plastic. I was really rough with these skates and they held up very well. Nothing broke or nothing came undone or anything like that. They seem to handle my abuse very nicely. So the experience that I received with the rocket skates was not the experience that I was expecting. Expectations is really key with the rocket skates. If you are a skater, if you are somebody that does things that require you to balance on a regular basis, then these skates will probably be really easy to pick up. Now, when I tried out the hoverboard last month, it said that it took about five minutes to get really good with that, and I agree. It takes about five minutes to get going with the swag wear with the hoverboard. These, not so much. I actually used these for about 30 minutes or so, and I never really got fully comfortable with the skates. I know that if I played around with these skates, I would be able to get used to them even though I'm not athletic and even though I don't really skate a whole lot or at all. I feel like it's something that over time with practice I really could get better at. Now I really dove into these skates head first. I didn't read the instruction manual or anything like that. What does it say you have to do? Who reads the instructions? After using the skates and having such a difficult time with them, I actually fell several times. <laughs> I checked out Kevin the Tech Ninja's video and he explained how they work a lot better uh, than what my mind had imagined. So in my mind, I was thinking of basically like Heelys on steroids. So I was thinking that I would lean back and if I, if I lean back, then I would be telling them to go forward. And that's not really how it works. Basically, they both have Bluetooth and they communicate with one another. You give it a little kickstart and then after you kickstart, whatever foot is in front, so you have like one foot in front and one foot behind, the foot that's in front controls the foot that's behind. So if I had known that when I was trying these out, I think that I would have done even better than what I did. But basically the only foot that you need to worry about controlling is that front foot. And to go forward, you just kickstart and then push forward. So you would, if this is your foot and this is your heel, you just kind of push forward on the control in there and that tells the skates to go forward. There's also a Rocket Skates application that you can download that pairs up with the skates via Bluetooth. And it gives you all kinds of information on the skates themselves, mainly battery life. So you can check the battery life of your skates as you are using them. You can also change the skill level of your skates so you can do beginner or moderate, intermediate. Now I can't say that I was ever proficient with the skates. After quite a while and after several falls, I was able to sort of kind of get the hang of the skates, but I can't really say that I was ever proficient with the skates. I think for me, these would just be more of like a for fun type of thing or just in my spare time. I don't really see me being able to use them as a separate mode of transportation. So I have to say that I had a ton of fun with the Rocket Skates. Even if I was never really good at them, I still had a lot of fun. If you wanna purchase these for yourself, I will include a link in the description. This will give you a discount on whatever you purchase from that link. Big shout outs to Sprout Up for giving me this opportunity to review them. I'll also include a link to them if you're an influencer like me, if you have like a Twitter account, or Facebook, or if you've got a YouTube channel. It doesn't really matter the size of your audience, just being an influencer in general. Uh, you can test out products like the Rocket Skates. So I'll be sure, like I said, to include a link in the description for that. Anyhow guys, that about wraps it up for this video. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. Follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX. You can find more of me at droidforums.net droidmoderx.com, news.howonandroid.com. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.